the, over the girl section coming like the bonus leader, we have one winner, Edwin Allen. You know, nobody stopping them over there. Um, Heidel pushed them last last champ, so I'm going to give Heidel a second place just for that again. Welcome Sports Nation to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, the channel of undiluted sports content. Your favorite analysts are here to provide their feedback on the latest happening in the world of sports. Analysts, finally we're having some good news as it relates to champs, high school, track and field, one of the biggest track and field events in this part of the world will be happening this week starting on the 11th of May at the National Stadium. And the analysts are here to just give their predictions on the teams or the schools that will finish in the top five for both males and females. But before we go into the details, fans out there, track and field fans out there, we want you to be part of the Sports DTM family by clicking that subscription button. If the button is still red, it simply means that you're not subscribed yet. So we are wait, fan. Click the button and welcome to the Sports DTM family. Analyst, champs, or Issa has announced, finally after being cancelled in 2020 and in limbo for all of 2021, there's finally some great news. The athletes will get the opportunity to showcase their talent at one of the biggest cool event in this side of the world, if not the biggest school event in the world overall and the athletes have been training long and hard some of them from first form and they're finally getting an, an opportunity but there has been some changes the criteria for qualification has changed primarily because of the pandemic so i'm going to just go through and list some of those criteria for the sprints in particular the top two from each um regional meet plus the next best 24 will qualify for the sprints for hurdles the top 24 island wide will qualify for the field events the top 12 across all development and regional championship will qualify for distant events the top 16 island wide will qualify for champs and for relays from all the development meets, not only regional meets, but all the, the winners will qualify for champs 2021. Analyst, some delays, some, some, some changes um, valid and based on the justification. Uh, we want to hear from you now, based on those changes, which team would you think I go take it. I mean, know some people will be biased. And if we're not biased, we don't need to tell the fans them say we are being biased. Because at, in the intro, it says undiluted, unbiased. <laughs> so, Balak, talk to me. Please don't tell me Walmart will be on your list. Because I'm 100 years Please. yet. Please, 100 years. <laughs> first thing first, you know, good night, viewers. But of course, Walmart is on the list. You know, but realistically, Woolmers won't be within this championship, you know, in, in, in my estimation. Um, I would say... How much more years you have for another 100? It was 2008. The years has passed. 81. 81. <laughs> 2,000 years later. <laughs> so you have 89 more years before you 89. <laughs> Anyways, you know, the naysayers and all that, all right. But um I think I think Kingston College will take um the boys' side of things. Uh and then I think it's gonna be a, a rat race behind them, really. 
you know. But and that by by the way, that took a lot out of me to say Kingston College <laughs> with the champs, you know. Um, I only hope that um no Bulma's old boy are are at, at present students are, are are watching this, you know. But I think Kingston College should should should, should take the, the boys side of things. Um, for the girls side of things, I'm I'm looking at uh Edwin Allen and Homewood, and of course Jago always has something to say. Jago always plays spoilers in champs, by the way. Like is either is either they are taking points from somebody or, or something on both sides. You know, so um I'm looking for for, 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 for Jago to upset the upper card somewhat, steal a, 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 a few points from um a com a content team, you know. But yeah. Ricky, what's what's your predictions for this championship? Um for the boys side of things. Given the, 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 what's happening now, I mean, we know that Calabar is normally a well uh, represented team at Champs. Um, but given the, the funny happening now and what happened last year and what happened in the corporate Champs, I, I said for number one, KC, definitely Calabar number two, JC, you know, far behind at number three. And then we have the it's scribbling though the the squabs it the, 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 the smaller teams the Jagos, the the stents and the Olmers following behind in no particular order, oh. right? Um, for the female side of things, the last sitting we had, um, Edwin Hallen and Heidel neck and neck, separated by seven, by seven points. Um, given the investments that Heidel has been making over the past couple of years, I believe that pretty soon Heidel is going to take over from Edwin Hallett and um, Bohmwood Technical. Uh, it might not be this one, but I I, I, I would say, uh, uh, since we're undiluted and unbiased, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be truthful and give Edwin Allen back their title and have... Um, uh, a neck and neck battle for second between Homewood and, and Heidel and Jago behind them and um, Immaculate Conception at fifth. <laughs> we paid nine dollars for this? I paid ten. Ray, the, winning the corporate championship by 180 points, KC over JC, is that any indication that? Um, whoever win corporate normally win champs. And what's your prediction? It, it usually is some sort of measuring stick, and especially given the, the magnitude and size of in which um, Casey beat JC in that, in that manner, you could almost expect Casey to win champs. Those sleep on and 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 um, Jamaica College Nar Stets. Those sleep on some of those those teams. They would they would strip away points. And so the gap won't be as wide. Um, and as such, I'd actually have Casey for sure, being down the middle here, undiluted, unbiased, all of that. Um, the facts speak for itself. And, and it's not because you went to Casey, right? No, no, the facts speak for itself. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, it speaks for itself. So it's clear Casey, um, pretty much. Um, I actually have JC in front of Calabar and Stets forward. And I'm expecting um, Jago to really mount a, a serious um, attempt. So I expect some of these teams to strip away points. So it's not no 180, as as um, the corporate said. It's not nothing like that, but it's a, but it's a strong victory nonetheless. Um, for the girls' side, um, it, it, it's sad, but the only thing I can speak of, I just feel Edwin Allen would actually pull through um, and, and, and home would second. The, the normal persons, normal teams where that is concerned, um, Immaculate would be on the list because I think there's 10 teams in it. I won't even so sure it's, <laughs> it's from a fifth perspective. But I'm sure they're, they're Re supposed to feel like remember, two, three people. Which they the match race like, don't come in yet, you know. No. The match race yeah. don't come in yet, you know. Yeah, and there's no swimming. So uh, it's, it's going to be rough. But they can, they can get out one point because it's just a matter of making the finals. They played so, sixth last, last sitting, so sixth. Yeah, and it's going to be seven next like this one. Who knows? <laughs> Eddie, 
winning winning central champs and i'm talking about your school now Diego. winning sem- central champs by almost 200 points is this any indication that when it comes to uh, it's a boys and girl championship that Diego will be amongst the top two um no no correct <laughs> i would love oh, to no. say, <laughs> i would love to say yes but not this year for St. Diego, sadly, but it'd be a, it'll be a purple year once again. Hurt my heart, but I think it'll be a purple year. Um, carpet champions again is not normally an indication, but with the pandemic and all of that, I'm just going to say it's, a, it's an indication because we haven't seen these, these young athletes run in a while. So I'm going to take it as an indication. So KC, and they won big the last champ. So KC, number one. Calabar, two. JC, number three. V. St. Jaga High, number four. Beating out Ulmas. <laughs> so Ulmas had five. Yes. Over in the girls' section now. Over the girls' section coming like the Bundesliga. We have one winner. Edwin Allen. You know, nobody's stopping them over there. Um, Heidel pushed them last last champ, so I'm going to give Heidel a second place just for that again. St. Jager again, number three. Girls, you know, going to move up the table a little bit this year. So I have them at number three. Um, Homewood, number four. And as Ricky said before, Immaculate. Big year again for them, so number five for Immaculate. So no Woolmas girls in the top five for, for girls? No. No. Who have the, the almost mighty no. falling? No, no. So when was the last time Wilma's girl in the top five? Don't don't give it this. Now, they were fifteenth, twenty in the last fifteen, Bala. Come on, don't get your wolf. The gap, gap too big. The gap too big. big. Them no good. Them not ready. I don't know if <laughs> them not ready. If I'm, think, if I'm being nostalgic, thinking this is two thousand five, Shelly and Fraser and, and all these people, but uh, yeah. And we, and we thank you for putting that plug in for Walmart's girls. And the Walmart's, Walmart's, Walmart's girls out there, I want to click that subscribe button so that Balak, who went to Walmart's, I'm not going to say girls, but Walmart's boys school, <laughs> can get some fans from him old school to be part of him, 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 him show. So click the button and welcome to the Sports DTM family, Walmart's girls. There you have it, Sports DTM fans. Sports DTM prediction of Champs 2021. Yes, Champs 2021 is finally on the schedule and will start on the 11th of May at the National Stadium. And for the girls, the predictions predominantly says uh, Edwin Allen will win. Idel second. Jago third, Omud fourth, and a surprise immaculate fifth place, even with the exclusion of the match race. And for the boys' side, KC defending champion, winners of corporate and record setting last championship will retain the title. JC and Calabar and Wolmers will form part of the rat that will race for the third place, second, third, and fourth place, as the analyst says. And Jago, somewhere there. So those are the top five pick for both males and females for champs 2021. Fans out there, we would love to hear from you. So leave those comments, your prediction, in the, the prediction in the comment section below. Let us hear from you. Tell us who are going so that we can come back and talk about this later. All right. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Remember to like, to share, and to subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell them friends, tell all of the champ supporters to come and join the Sports DTM family to like this video, to click, and to subscribe. Right? Everybody, school, your school is being represented at champs. Come and subscribe to this channel. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Be blessed.